welcome to my hydroponic garden located just beyond the coconut tree. Let's walk into the greenhouse and see what's there. Oh, tomatoes. And there's something behind this veil of secrecy. Wow, beautiful green vegetables. I see lettuce. And some pak choy. Yes, there's pak choy and lettuce which is almost ready to harvest. Here's some watercress and lettuce and pak choy which need to grow about another week before harvesting. Then a tank of young pak choy followed by watercress which needs another two weeks. And here's pak choy ready for the dining table. This young lettuce has only been transplanted about a week. And the watercress has just been transplanted a day or two ago. Let's briefly show the growing methodology that was used to grow these beautiful crops. The tank is filled to about an inch from the top with water. This is enough water for the whole crop in the Hawaii winter season, but we might have to add a little more water during the warmer summer season. About four ounces of fertilizer solution A and four ounces of fertilizer solution B are added to the water. Fiberglass window screen is placed in the tanks as a mosquito control method. Covers, which will accommodate six or eight plants, will be fitted into the tanks. Net pots are placed in the cover and there is a one half to one inch depth of nutrient solution in the net pot. One to two week old seedlings are grown and transplanted into the net pots. Now we just sit back and leave everything alone for about five weeks. There's no pumps or electricity involved. And I still marvel how these beautiful plants appear after five weeks without any extra effort on my part. Now let's turn our attention to the tomatoes. There are three tanks of tomatoes. Each tank has six large net pots. These are called accelerator pots. It looks like there are two plants in some of these pots. This tomato variety is Jubilee. They look really nice and healthy. And the really good news is there have been no pesticides applied to this crop. The tomato variety Hialani is growing in this tank. They are smaller and more numerous than the Jubilee tomatoes. These tomato varieties were seeded about 80 days ago, and there should be some tomatoes ready to harvest in the next week or two. A brief discussion of the growing methodology might be useful. A constant water level is maintained in a plastic trash container with a float valve. Hydroponic fertilizer is added to the water about once a week. More details are explained in a previous video. Nutrient solution flows by gravity to a float valve sump assembly which consists of a plastic tank and a float valve. The float valve maintains a constant water level in the tank. The plastic tank is covered with a fabric to prevent algae formation. The nutrient solution flows by gravity to a one half inch tubing and then into a one quarter inch tubing into the growing tank. The nutrient solution depth is monitored by this float indicator. Nutrient solution depth may be adjusted by adding or removing boards from under the float valve sump assembly. Would you like to see the roots? Most of the roots are located below the screen. The screen improves root growth and also controls mosquitoes. Now it's cucumber time. This variety is Golden Valley Seed GVS 603, which is a Persian Bayeth Alpha hybrid cucumber. They are parthenocarpic, which means they produce fruit without pollination. They are also considered to be gynecious, which means they only produce female flowers. As I was saying, 
These are a Dionysius Parthenocarpic Persian Bayet Alpha Hybrid Cucumber. What a mouthful. This looks like cucumber hemen. Would you also like to grow cucumbers like this? I hope to make a video on cucumbers in the future. In the meantime, let us briefly discuss some of the growing methodology. My tank is eight feet long by about 20 inches wide by about eight inches high. A homemade float valve rests on a shallow brick which rests on the bottom of the tank and maintains a nutrient solution level of two to three inches in the tank. Nutrient solution flows to the float valve by gravity from the same tank that fed the tomatoes. Fiberglass window screen is placed over the tank to control mosquitoes. Seeds were started in eight inch forestry tubes, but they were a little bit short, so I placed them in these black forestry tubes, which rested on the bottom of the tank. One inch thick polystyrene was placed on the top of the tank and the cucumber seedlings were transplanted. Then I waited for about 45 days and all these cucumbers came along. Well, my friends, that's the end of my short vegetable tour in February 2018. The greenhouse wasn't heated or cooled. There weren't any pumps or aeration devices for the tanks. No pesticides were used and I was more than satisfied with my garden. Before we go, maybe you'd like to take a walk with me to this Samoan coconut tree, which you saw at the beginning of this video. Let's reach up and touch a coconut and say, Aloha.